Evening everyone, hope you're well, hope you're staying safe and staying sane. I cannot wait to get back out in the great outdoors, I'm starting to get cabin fever now. Um, get me back to those lakes and those mountains so we can start making some real camping videos. But as you can tell from the, uh, from the thumbnail, I'm just going to jump straight into this. I want to quickly talk you through some of the um, camera gear that I use to film my YouTube videos. So if anyone is looking to start a camping channel or to make some videos of themselves uh, while they're out hiking, I um, thought I'd talk you through some gear and see if you take any inspiration from it. Um, just going to caveat this straight away by saying this is not me recommending that this is the best gear to use for a camping channel or for a YouTube channel in general. All you need is a camera and something to record um, sound which you will all have probably in your pocket or you might even be watching this video on it. Just use your mobile phone using iPhone or whatever um, to start making videos and just get out there and, and start making content. But I'm going to talk you through some of the gear that I've accumulated over the years um, and this is what I use in my videos. So my main camera that I use um, is extremely popular amongst content creators on YouTube and that's the Canon M50 which I'm filming this on right now. So I bought this camera about 18 months ago, <clears throat> I think it was about 600 quid um, with the kit lens and I absolutely love it. It's fantastic for um, taking away with me camping, it's great for kind of travel in general, it's really compact, it's mirrorless, it's got a nice little flip out screen and I just use the uh, kind of the kit lens that came with the um, the kit lens that came with the the, um, the camera. Um, I use that as my main vlogging lens. That's a 15 to 45 mil lens. And that is absolutely spot on for, for filming um, vlogs and a bit of that nice B-roll um, that everyone on camping videos um, sees. So nice shots of the countryside and obviously the standard walking past your um, your camera so it looks like you've got a home film crew filming you when it's not it's just you out there with your camera um, so this is kind of my main vlogging camera I would I use um, the sound quality on most cameras is all right but when it gets kind of you're up in the hills and it's pretty windy um, I would recommend investing in kind of external microphone so I've got um, a couple I've got the one I'm using now which is the Rode Wireless Go and um, this is one that just clips on obviously it clips onto your lapel or clips onto your bag um, and it just gives you that that sound quality and then if it's particularly windy in the hills as well you get like a the technical term is called a dead cat and then you can see that um, if you put that on there it muffles out the wind as well um, you don't have to get a lapel microphone you can also get what's called a shotgun mic which mounts onto the top of your um, of your camera um, it's not quite as discreet as the lapel microphone so people will see that you're out there making vlogs but who cares you're out there making having fun right um, but again that just mounts on top of your camera and um, you just speak into it and then the dead cat is a little bit more dramatic in this one um, but yeah so that's external external mic um, I also use this M50 as my kind of main stills camera so take some pictures out there on my camps for YouTube thumbnails and um, for my Instagram page um, it's all right for stills I've actually taken done a few client shoots on it as well um, but it is something I'm going to be upgrading um, to a bit of a better quality for, um, for stills and for photographs but kind of for internet content and, and anything else it's absolutely fantastic and as I say the small size is just perfect for um, for taking on camping trips and taking kind of on any trips on any travel remember those days when we could go on trips one day it'll, it'll come back stay positive people it's going to come back um, so yes yeah, so that's my main camera the other options I use for vlogging sometimes is I use the GoPro Hero 7 Black which is this you're probably all familiar with what GoPro is is that going to focus with GoPros um, really really handy for vlogging um, fantastic it suits in 4k uh, you can even do like 120 frames a second so you get some really nice slow motion stuff out of that i film all my time lapses on the gopro and um, just set it up really wide angle and get some fantastic time lapses um, and good the audio quality is good as well so i sometimes use that for vlogging um, i've got a kind of a selfie stick that came with the gopro um, and it's just a bit more discreet for when you want to do um, a bit of vlogging if you feel uncomfortable holding a big camera up in front of your face and talking into it while there's other hikers walking past you but that's the gopro hero 7 black um bought that 
probably around the same time as this camera um, and it's been great i um i love that um, i don't see any need to upgrade to the latest gopros i'm not doing any skydiving or extreme sports so i'll keep hold of that for the time being but another good bit of kit if you want to take away when you're doing your camping videos and then the drone that i use um, for my camping videos if you've seen um, any of the other ones um, i've done a quick drone montage um, i'll link it up here or here or here or somewhere on the screen um, i use the um, the dji mavic air 2 um, absolutely love this drone um, i did use the mavic mini before that was the first drone that i bought uh, but i upgraded to the mavic air 2 and i absolutely love this it is so easy to fly um, I wasn't particularly proficient in drone flying, I still aren't, um, but it's fantastic. Again, this shoots 4K, uh, you can shoot 120 frames per second on it, um, 60 frames per second, it's just absolutely fantastic. The battery life is insane, I think it lasts about, I think about 34 minutes flying with it. Um, I also, I bought the uh, Fly More Combo, so that came with two extra DJI batteries. Um, and then it also comes with this, Kind of mini adapter that you can plug into the battery i don't know if you can see there stop my face from taking the focus on the battery itself that connects here um and that makes it a power bank as well so i actually charge my camera equipment um my torch and everything else um using one of the dji batteries and that kind of that charges everything all night um so yeah i mean i try not to take three batteries with me because i'm not going to need 90 minutes of drone flying um it's not particularly um, the smallest um, drone, but it's definitely compact enough um, to fit in my bag, or I sometimes take the kind of the carry bag with me and I carry that over my, my shoulder on, on top of my rucksack. Um, but absolutely fantastic bit of kit. I take that with me on every single camping trip just because it's a load of fun to fly the drone and you just get some shots and some perspectives that you just can't capture with, with anything else. Um, so yeah, the DJI Mavic Air 2 uh, with that. And then finally, the final camera equipment that I take with me, um, which is the most reliable, it's the one I always have on me, and it's the one everyone else will take camping with them, is the good old iPhone um, or Samsung or whatever other device you wish to use. But yeah, I, your iPhone is, the video quality we get now on these smartphones is absolutely exceptional. You can set yourself a real little vlogging, you can set yourself up a real little you can set yourself up a nice little vlogging setup um, using an iPhone now. You can get external mics that link to these. Um, you can get obviously selfie sticks. I mean, there's tons of videos if you want to look at how you can use your iPhone or use your, your smartphone as a vlogging setup. Um, but fantastic for capturing pictures while you're on your camp. Um, great video, you have it in selfie mode. You can take some slow motion, absolutely fantastic. So some of my clips are actually taken on my iPhone. I just blend them in to the main video. Um, so they're the main four bits of kit um, that I use. When it comes to editing my videos, um, I just edit them on my MacBook. I've got a 13 inch MacBook Pro um, that I use, which is absolutely fine for, for what I need it for. It struggles sometimes with the 4K content that comes out of the drone, um, but I don't quite warrant upgrading to a, a higher spec machine just yet. But I find it absolutely fine for what I need to edit uh, the YouTube videos. Um, so I edit all my videos in um, Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, it's really fantastic software. It's professional editing software. It's very complex, but once you get used to it and know how to use it, kind of the possibilities are endless for ed adding all sorts of different effects and, and tweaking and manipulating your footage, but you don't have to use um, Adobe Premiere Pro. There's, there's tons of editing software out there. Free software such as iMove is absolutely fine for editing and, and creating camping videos and putting them live on YouTube for people to to enjoy. For the music for my videos I use um, a company called Epidemic Sounds which is fantastic. There's just thousands and thousands and thousands of songs. It's a subscription service. I think I pay $9.99 a month but that gives me access to unlimited number of songs and the great news is is that it's um, copyright free music so if you use access if you use a subscription service you get access to all this music and you don't have to worry about YouTube taking you down for copyright infringements. Um, but again, if you're not monetizing your channel, um, I'm pretty sure you can use um, licensed music. Don't quote me on that. 
but unless you're monetizing the video, I think you can get away with, with using most music, to be honest. So you don't have to subscribe to something like Epidemic Sounds. Um, if you do any video work outside um, of YouTube and you do client work, I would recommend using something like Epidemic Sound or um, Artlist, um, again, because then you, you're just gonna be able to use that music and you're not gonna get a kind of a wrap on the wrist for using unlicensed music. Oh, and finally, one thing you're gonna need um, if you are filming yourself is you're gonna need a selfie stick like the one I showed you from my GoPro or you're gonna need to get yourself a tripod. Um, I can't show you the tripod because the camera's on the tripod right now filming me. But again, I would recommend investing in a tripod. You don't have to get yourself an expensive one. You don't have to get a carbon fiber one. Just get something that's gonna keep your camera steady so that you can film yourself while you're talking to it. You can film yourself while you're walking past. Um, and you can also set it up and get some nice kind of long exposure photography or astrophotography. You wanna take some photographs of the stars, um, but definitely invest in a, in a tripod. Uh, it'll make your life a lot, lot easier. Um, you can also get kind of what called the gorilla pods or different ones that are flexible. Um, small tripods that hold in your hand for just anything that sets your phone up or sets your camera up and, and keeps it steady. Um, they're the main things that I use to make my YouTube videos. Um, I hope you found this useful. Um, very different to a normal camping review. Um, but as I say, once we can get back out on the hills, I'll stop talking about the camera gear and we'll start using it again. And stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.